So now we move to lecture four covering planes and sketches. In this lecture we'll cover the concepts behind planes and sketches and why we need them, talk about how to create planes and sketches in the design model interface, I'll show you the sketching interface and the toolboxes associated with the interface and the toolbox contains um, details of the features uh, needed to create the, the, the sketches such as draw, modify, dimension and also um, constraining of sketches. So where does sketching sit in the pre-processing workflow? It sits right at the beginning at the geometry creation or geometry inputs, input step as a, as a first step operation. It's conventionally more likely to be used as part of a geometry, geometry creation step because we're actually um, using a sketch in which to um, create the 3D geometry. But it also can be used as part of um, appending to existing geometry that has, for example, been imported via uh, from CAD. So what is a plane? Well, a plane represents uh, a, a, a two-dimensional representation um, that upon which we can um, create a sketch so that then the sketch um, relies on the plane. In this example, we have um, our original um, plane, which has been defined in the bottom left. Now the plane, although we can see there it's a, like a, a local coordinate system with the red, green, blue, the plane is in fact the green, red arrows and they form the plane which is referred to here. On that plane we can then create a sketch. In this, in this instance we've created a sketch of a circle and that circle as a sketch is then reliant on that plane. With that circle, we then can perform a 3D operation, in this case to extrude it into a, a cylinder shape. But we can see the, the, the reliance of the geometry of the body to the sketch, and then the sketch to the plane. 